there are two components of circular arcs. Learn about them here in Mathematics of Engineering. The two components of arcs are the length and the angle. But what are they? Arc measure is the angle of rotation of the arc span. This can be given in radians or degrees, and this is denoted as a theta. Arc length is the linear measurement of the span of the arc denoted by S. One fact regarding arc states that every arc on a circle there corresponds exactly one central angle. This can be written mathematically as S is equal to R times the central angle theta. Again, R is the radius and theta is the arc measure, which is measured in radians. In case arc measure is represented in degrees, a conversion factor should be multiplied. That conversion factor is 2 pi is also 360 degrees, which can be simplified as pi all over 180. Here are some examples for arcs. First is the arc subtended by an angle of 5, 6 pi on a circle of radius 15 meters. Given the central angle or arc measure and the radius, we are just to plug them into the equation S as equal to R theta which then shows 15 meters times 5 6 of pi. This is then computed as 25 halves of pi in meters, or that is 39.27 meters in decimals. How about if the angle provided is in degrees? For example 2, we are to compute for the arc subtended by an angle of 215 degrees. Still using the equation S as equal to R theta, we are to look for S, but R is also not given. We can still proceed with the solution, however. Our answer will be in terms of radius. That would be R times 215 degrees times the conversion factor of pi over 180. And we get S as 43 all over 36 of pi times R in meters. For the next example, a figure is provided where length PC is 25 units. Length PC is the radius of circle P. Also given in the figure is theta, which is 3 tenths of pi. We are to determine the length of arc BCA, that is the major arc. Using the equation S as equal to R theta, there are two approaches, one of which is to take R as 25 and theta of arc BCA directly. This is measured as the full revolution of 2 pi minus the slice of 3 tenths of pi, which is computed as 17 tenths of pi. Plug this into the general equation, giving S as 25 times 17 tenths of pi resulting to 85 halves pi or 133.52 units. The fourth example has a figure shown where line segment PA is the radius measuring 3 centimeters. We are to determine the exact length of arc DAC, which is again a major arc. So from the equation of S as R theta, R is 3 centimeters and theta is 2 pi minus the disregarded arc of pi over 3, which results to 5 thirds of pi. Place these parameters in the equation and get S as 3 times 5 thirds of pi simplified as 5 pi in centimeters.
Example 5 shows a circle P, where chords AD and BE are diameters. Length PB is its radius given as 10 meters. We are to determine length of arc CD. Focusing on the diameters, the properties of vertical angles state that angle APE is congruent to angle BPD given as 19 all over 36 pi. From the right side of the circle, angle BPD is cut into angles BPC and CPD, but BPC is also given as a third of pi. Thus, we can state that angle CPD plus pi all over 3 is equal to 19 all over 36 pi which gives angle CPD as 736 pi. Knowing the arc measure, we can then solve for the arc length of CD using S is equal to R theta, where R is 10 meters and theta is 736 of pi. So arc length of CPD is 10 times 736 of pi, which turns out as 35 over 18 pi in meters. The next example shows a figure of a circle with chord AC as diameter and the radius is measured as 30 inches. Another given is arc length of BC as 13 pi. We are to determine arc measure of AB. With S as equal to R theta, where R is 30 inches and arc BC is 13 pi, we can take theta BC from 13 pi as equal to 30 times theta BC. Divide both sides by 30 and get theta of BC as 13 thirtieth of pi. Next is to check that arc measure BC and AB form half of the circle, or that is pi. Arc measure AB is computed as pi minus theta BC that is pi minus 13 thirtieth of pi, resulting to 17 thirtieth of pi. The seventh example shows the figure of circle P. This is with diameter AD and the radius is 27 units. Also given is arc length BC as 81 all over 10 of pi. We are to determine the arc measure of arc CD in radians. Arc BC has most components, so let's utilize that part of the circle. With S as R theta, R is 27 meters and arc BC is 81 all over 10 of pi, plug these values into the equation to look for theta BC. Divide both sides by 27 to have theta BC as 3 tenths of pi. From the figure, arcs BC and CD comprises a quarter circle, where the arc measure is 90 degrees or pi over 2. So angle CD is then measured as half of pi minus theta BC or that is pi over 2 minus 3 tenths of pi giving theta CD as fifth of pi. The next example is an application which goes, a tire has an outer radius of 10 inches. A small mark is painted at the very top of the tire, and then it is rolled forward slightly so that the mark rotates through an angle of pi all over 4 radians. How far above the ground is the mark at this point? The rotation of the white mark is a quarter of pi, which is actually 45 degrees. The task is to measure the vertical distance of the white mark from the ground, which is the radius of the tire plus the vertical height of AE. To determine the height of AE, identify the angle which includes it. So angles EPA and APB make up 90 degrees or pi over 2 but angle APB is a quarter of pi, leaving angle EPA 
as pi over 4. With L as segment AE plus the radius, look for measure of AE first. Using trigonometric function, sine of EPA is the line segment AE over the radius, which can be placed as sine of pi over 4 as equal to segment AE over 10. So segment AE is 5 root of 2. Now we compute for L as 5 root of 2 plus 10, giving 17.07 .07 inches. Thank you.